Alrighty, guys. A good afternoon. Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. All right. Um, now, went ahead and, of course, we've got uh, four consoles to stream on this thing. All right. I've got, um, I, I'm going to, the first one is going to be for demonstration and instructional. The rest are going to be showcased for the customers. Okay. Now, um, you know, this week it's been, it's been crazy. Um, and uh, we've been uh, working, my, my developer and I have been testing and working and working on those advanced warfare stuff with all the cheats and stuff like that. And, you know, of course, in between that, I've been building consoles and everything, and we're going to get them shipped out to you guys. But uh, anyway, to make a long story short, okay, here we are. All right, we're going to do four of them here. All right, we got Mr. Helmet Seelman. All right, and then um, we're going to do, uh, let's see here, we've got Kyle and Dylan. We got we got uh, Christian Rice, and then we've got uh, Carl Hankton. Okay, now, all right, all these guys here, uh, they purchased consoles off the website. The, um, this one here was a send in. Okay, Helmet sent this in. Okay, and uh, it had an 0021 error. All right, now I don't know if you know what the secondary or how to how to make a secondary error code, you know, show up or whatever. You know, you just hit the sync button and the inject button, and it gives you a code, you know. And what was happening was he sent this in to get RGH, but it also had that problem of 0021, which was a pretty bad error because it's a you know it's a red ring, okay, and a red dot. So anyway, we took it apart, and um, I found one of the e-bricks had a cold solder joint underneath it. All right, so uh, we refloated it and everything, and everything it's been it's been running great for the past two days, so haven't had a problem out of it, so it's all good. Now watch, give me a problem now. All right, you know I mean that's what's gonna happen. But anyway, um, they're all up on Alliance servers. Okay, ten day trial of Purge uh, for GTA Five. All right, and then of course they got we have BO2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare off host. Okay, Jiggy and Sentinel, and of course we have College Football Revamped. Okay. Now, college football revamped, you know, version 11.2, all right, she's all ready to go, all right, and we got it all done, okay? Now, of course, his hard drive, though, too, unfortunately, he bought one of those uh, remanufactured, should I say, aftermarket hard drives. Uh, of course, it had a Western Digital from 2014 in it, and that was no good. The platters were shot on it, and it was like, oh, okay, this is not going to work, so we went ahead, and I talked to Helmet, and we put in a... Uh, a uh, 250 gig drive. So anyway, she's all good. Without further ado, I'm going to fire this thing up, okay? I'm going to also demonstrate our uh, advanced warfare cheats and everything, okay? So just so you know. And the thing boots like a beast helmet, all right? I got it all done, like I said. No red dot. That's gone. All that crap is gone. We got an Ace V3 in it, okay? With a modified timing file by Alexi15432, thanks to him. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sync the controller up. You're going to see it boot into... Uh, into Aurora, okay, and as you can see, welcome to Alliance, everything is all good, all right, and now what I'm going to do here, all right, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you everything that's going on with this thing, okay, so anyway, we'll boot up into show all, now with Aurora, hitting the back button, you have file manager, your scripts, restart, reboot, and shut down, you also notice the IP address, which is prevalent, I need you to, you know, because you, if you want to connect with FTP and also you know, Xbox 360 neighborhood, it's a good thing to have. So it's uh, 192.168.1.24, all right? So we're back out of there. Hitting the start button will bring you to the business end of this, of this thing. Got assets, profile, content, modules, language, security, and about, okay? So you got all these all these settings and everything. That's where all your content is. And, you know, you can set your profile up to auto sign in, all that crap, okay? Now, okay. Uh, if you hit the RB button, you'll see right now we're in show all, which shows everything that's on the drive, okay? If you hit here, okay, that's going to bring us to our Xbox 360, and as you can see, okay, we'll start from over here, and we'll work our way through. And if you're wondering what that is, that is a shortcut to default MP. As you can see, it says Advanced Warfare MP, okay? we're gonna I'm going to explain that in a minute. But anyway, as you can see, you have all your games here. They're all set up, ready to go. All right, there's a ton of games on here for you that should keep you busy for a little while anyway. And yes, you have the modded, uh, mod, yes, you got modded uh, version 11.2, NCAA Football 14, okay? Dead Redemption and back to the uh, dashboard. Now, we'll hit RB, bring it over. You, you got your Xbox Live Arcade, all right? And then, of course, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside for your console. And then you have your classic games, a couple classic games on there. 
all right your indie games a couple indie games on there all right and then of course you have your emulators okay which pretty much there's all your emulators all right and there's a ton of crap on there all right so anyway we're going to bring this back to show all okay now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you all right we're going to go ahead and we're going to first log into the server right here all right and uh we're going to log into the original dashboard first as you can see again Hello again, Helmut Thielman. You're on Lions Live. Welcome to Lions Live. You come on. You have 30 reserve days left. You got it. Good. Okay. We'll bypass the sign in, and you will see that we're up, we're online, and we're live. Okay. And then in our fifth tab, you will see that we have our cheats. Okay. To disable them, hit A. To enable, hit A. It's very simple. This one, once we dump it into the XEX uh, tonight. We'll have, um, we'll have, you'll be able to enable the advanced wall, well, it'll just come enabled, but then you can disable it if you want, okay? To bring it back to Aurora, just go to Xbox Home and hit A, okay? That will take you back, all right? That takes us back to Aurora, all right? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, once we get back to Aurora here, I'm going to shove a USB stick in this thing, okay, with a profile on it, with a live profile on it, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sign in with it. All right, so now we put that in there. Okay, I'm going to hit the, there we go. I'm going to hit the guide button. All right, and there'll be four profiles here now. Okay, so let's see if we can sign in with this thing. And it should sign in. Okay, as long as it doesn't give me an error, I might have to go to the original dash. Not sure yet. We'll find out once I sign in and everything. Yeah, we did it. We're signed in. Life is good. Okay, so we're signed into Xbox Live, and now you notice that we have friends, party, you know, all that crap. All right, so anyway, we're signed in. All right, now here's the deal here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, Advanced Warfare first. Okay, this is a, this is a, this is a cheat that would an all post that we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Okay. We wanted to make sure everything was right on it and right and tight so that way then there was no issues, all right? And guys, when you get this off host, okay, for Advanced Warfare, please, if there is any issues with it, let me know. Message me, okay? Please let me know, all right? Very important. But anyway, um, now you'll notice that there is Advanced Warfare Multiplayer, all right? I made it real simple. Instead of having to go into the File Manager and go to Default Multiplayer, Nope, all you got to do is just go here, and I made a cute little shortcut right there, all right? So we're going to load that up right now, all right? And you'll see that it's going to load Advanced Warfare Multiplayer immediately. It should anyway. There you go. All right, and then what's going to happen is, is uh, you know, our cheats are going to load. There we are, Advanced Warfare Bypassed. All right, we're good there. And then uh, what's going to happen is, is we should get the, uh, we should go directly to multiplayer and all that stuff. It just takes it a minute. All right, so just give it a second and it'll go. And I'm going to show you the off host menu on this thing, okay? I'm going to try to explain this stuff, all right? So that way then you know what, where, how, and who with this thing, okay? So okay, I don't want you having any problems or anything like that. All right, and there we are. Okay, we're at Xbox Live, all right? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit Xbox Live. All right, and then what, what it's going to do, it's going to, of course, fetch the online profile and all that crap. And as you can see down here, it says Alliance Cheats Loaded, okay? Now, all right, once it fetches the online profile and brings me to the Xbox uh, Live Multiplayer screen, I'm going to show you the off host, and that way then you can see what the heck is going on here, all right? So just uh, work with me right there. There we are. It just takes it a while. There we are, okay? Now, we're loaded. All right, now, okay. For the cheats here, okay, all you got to do, all you got to do is hold in the left trigger and push down on the left, uh, on the left, uh, left D-pad, and there is our cheats right there, okay, as you can see. Now, if you go up here and you go to cheats, all right, you have advanced UAV, of course we want that. We want no recoil, no sway, no flinch, a quick reload. Yes, we can spoof the gamer tag, yeah, flag, flashing gamer tag, steel gamer tag, prestige disco, anti D rank, anti host, leave game, end game, okay? Hitting B, we'll bring it down, and then we'll go to aimbot, we'll hit A, aimbot will turn that on. In the mode, we can do normal, okay? We can do best bone, and if you, if you want to get a wall banger, all you got to do is just hit that. If you want to use auto fire, you can, it'll automatically fire upon, uh, upon your enemies and everything. All right, now we'll back out of here. Anti-aim that you can put a spin button on with a fake lag if you want, and uh, you know that it, it helps you not get hit. Okay, of course ESP. We could turn that on. We can do a 3D box, 3D pyramid, AA box, 
AA pyramid, so on and so forth off. Okay, we're going to do a 3D box. And then what we'll do is we'll draw bone lines, the name, the distance, the weapon. Okay, um, you know, you can have the direction indicators, okay, which are little arrows that come up, but I, I really don't I really don't like that. All right, we can do snap lines, enemies, or both, okay? And uh, what we'll do is we'll put a crosshair on there, a static crosshair, okay? And we'll back out of there, all right? Players, of course, we're not in the game, but it will show the players, okay? Your settings, okay? Field of view, all right? Now, as you can see, we can move the field of view out, okay? We can also move the menu around, as you can see. Okay, so on and so forth. All right, now we'll bring that up there because uh, we want that out of the way. All right, and then we just hit we just hit A again to disable that, and then we can hit B and we can close up the menu. Okay, everything is all set and pretty much we're ready to go. All right, so now what I'll do is, is I will close this menu out by hitting uh you know left trigger and left D pad. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll do a private match. Okay, uh, let me set this up here. Friendly bots will do three of them. Enemy bots, we'll do five of them, okay? Yeah, we'll make them harden just for the hell of it, okay? And uh, let's see here. No, that's my friendly. Uh, let's see. We'll do, yeah, we'll do regular. We'll make them hardened, okay? Or mixed or whatever. Yeah, we'll make them regular. Hardened. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we'll back out of there and now we'll start the game, okay? Now, this will show, uh, this, was, this is going to show what the off host can do. Um, I'm going to cycle through some modes with it so that way then you can see. All right, so here we are, synchronizing the game settings. Everything is all cool. It should be anyway. All right, and then we'll do Sentinel, and I'm going to grab one of these right here. Okay, and as you can see, there's my enemies. Okay, and we're waiting. Go ahead and start the game. Now, mind you, I have it in normal mode. Okay, we have silent, uh, silent, no spread. You know, I mean, no spread. We've got all kinds of crazy things that we can do. All right. So anyway, we got a static. Uh, we got a static thing right here. When when you get a uh, when you get a wall banger, the uh, the line's gonna turn purple. So is the box. Okay. When it come into view, see what I'm saying? And it will also auto target the closest threat. Okay. So if you got a close threat, yeah, it's gonna auto target it. Okay. So on and so forth. See, we had a wall banger there. There we go. Domed him. And then it'll just automatically swap to. You know, whichever one comes in, uh, comes into view. Okay, so on and so forth. All right, and we'll bring that around here. Here we go. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> it works pretty good. And then, of course, um, you know, like I said, with all this stuff here. Yep, wall banger. Damn it. Really? Here, there you go. Yeah, I know I was near death, okay? So anyway, as you can see, it works pretty good. All the stuff works real good. No problems. Uh oh. I'm out of weapon I'm out of weapons here. There we go. Okay. Grab somebody else's. See it'll automatically just start, you know, pretty much getting everybody and everything. Alright. Um anyway. Uh now we can cycle through this thing. We can go to aimbot and then we can do a silent silent no spread. Okay? Close that out. And now we don't even have to aim. Okay. All we got to do is just uh, pretty much jump through the map and whatever does come up. See? Dead. Didn't even have to aim. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> oh shit, I'm reloading. I'm about to be dead. Damn it! <laughs> That's the one bad thing about these submachine guns. It's called reload. When you're, vo when you're most vulnerable. See, but you don't have to aim or anything like that. You just jump around like an idiot and just like have a blast with it, see? As long as they come into view, they're dead. Okay? If it's a wall banger, they're dead. <laughs> it's a crazy little game. See, as long as that, when that, when that rectile uh, lights up, you don't even have to aim at them. All you only gotta do is just pull the trigger. You can put it on auto fire too, but that's like no fun, really, to tell you the truth. It's just that, that's just like, like crazy, but, you know, I mean, there's some people that they'll do it, you know? And I, I look at it and go, God, how much assistance do you actually need? Come on. But anyway, as you can see, it all works very, very well. Okay, everything works good. Um, you can uh, you can also uh, spoof a gamer tag if you want. So if you want to spoof a gamer tag, back out of here, go to uh, players. Okay, that's that's me right there. I can go to cheats. 
and uh, we can uh, spoof the gamer tag, and we can put in anything we want. One, two, three. Done. Okay, now go back here, and I do believe, uh, let's see here now, players. Okay, and as you can see, All right, now, uh, to set it back, okay, to set it back, if you want, um, let's see here. Damn it. Yeah, killed by chemist. <laughs> okay, all right. So, to set it back, just go to uh, cheats and uh, reset the gamer tag. There you go. And it's back to, uh, it's back to uh, your, your original gamer tag. So, you can spoof the gamer tag and all that kind of good stuff. You can end the game, leave the game, do whatever you want to do with this thing. You know, and it all works. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, when you use ADS with uh, Silent No Spread, it's not a good idea because now you're taking over what the heck it's going to do. See, all you got to do is just run through the map like an idiot and you'll get instant kills. See, works just fine. Yeah, Gator trying to get away. Yeah, that didn't work out for him, now did it? Okay, but anyway, this is our uh, this is our Alliance All Post and... um. We're going to have it on the server tonight, okay, just to let you know, all right? You're, uh, for those of you who are on Alliance already, the um, this thing is going to go ahead and it's going to update the uh, it's gonna update the XEX automatically, and then you'll see where it's enabled, okay? And um, for those of you who don't have um, a shortcut for this thing, all right, what, I'm, what you're going to have to do is go into default multiplayer and run it right from the game folder, okay? For you season modders, you know what you got to do. Just go to default multiplayer and let it rip skip, and you're all good, all right? Hey, Tyler, how are you, man? Good to see you. I hope you're okay, man. I heard you were in the hospital. But anyway, that's our Advanced Warfare uh, cheat right there. Yeah, you get a flashing gamer tag, prestige, disco, anti-D-rank, all that crap, you know, anti-host. So, you know, I mean, so on and so forth. And then you can end the game if you want. Game ended, there you go. Done, you know, and pretty much there you are, all right? So anyway, as you can see, 37 kills, 6 deaths, and I wasn't even trying, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, works good, okay? <laughs> so anyway, there you go, all right? So there's, there's the uh, Advanced Warfare, and um, a little later on, we're going to wind up putting this, uh, putting this, um, this all post across to BO2, MW3, Ghosts, and all that stuff, because it's a really, really good aimbot system and it works real good so we're going to be transferring all over okay we're also going to adapt it to bo3 and all that kind of good stuff all right so just to let you know what's going on okay <laughs> i hear you tyler i know how that is man i've been in plenty of them and it's terrible being in the hospital i understand bro i really do i feel for you man i really do this is ridiculous but um, anyway, okay, so we're good there. We're all good. We're going to go back to Xbox Home. I just wanted to show you guys that, so then that way then you know what, where, how, and who, okay? So anyway, there you are, all right? Now, okay, now what I'm going to do here is also now I'm going to show you the other off host that we have, which is going to be, uh, I'm going to use BO2 for an example right here, okay? And all of this stuff that you're seeing on this console, all the consoles, when you buy them off the website from us, Yes, according to hard drive size, you will get all of this stuff. Okay, it comes with it. All right, so just so you know, everything that you're seeing, this is on a little 250 gig drive. We have 320s, 500s, uh, 1 terabytes, and 2 terabytes, okay? Just to let you know. So anyway, now, we don't have to launch default multiplayer with this thing. We can just go right in here and hit Black Ops 2. All right, and it should load, and everything should be fine, I would hope, Okay. But that Advanced Warfare uh, off host is really, really good. You guys are going to like that. It's, uh, it's real good. We went up against a couple of uh, other servers with it. And um, <laughs> those servers were going to remain nameless, all right, because I don't want to start any trouble. But I tell you what, though, they didn't get one hit. Not one. <laughs> and I was just auto-killing everybody. It was ridiculous. So... <laughs> And, uh, you know, I got a couple of messages going, what the hell off host are you using? <laughs> Custom, baby. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> works real good, I promise you. Okay, you're going to like it. So anyway, we'll go ahead. We'll go over here. Now, all right, with BO2, it's very simple. And now, mind you, all of this is on these consoles here. Okay, so anyway, all right, so we'll go to multiplayer. All right, now. 
you know, the off hose D pad left to open it, X to select, beat it back out, D pad left to close it, okay, with the with, with this off host here, okay. Now, a little different from the advanced warfare off host, okay. Anyway, we're, we're gonna do uh, we'll do a local game just for the hell of it, okay. I'm gonna go ahead, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up the bots, I'll do uh, nine of them, all right, and then I'm gonna start the match now. This has Jiggy in it, which is a GSC menu, so there's a lot of options on there as well, okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start the match here. All right, and uh, we'll see what happens here. And then I'm going to show you Jiggy. I'm going to show you uh, the off host. All right, you could use them in conjunction. I'm going to also show you on uh, Jiggy how to get that when, if you want to use Jiggy online. All right, now it's real easy. Grab your gun, okay? Now we're going to hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. There it is. X to select. Whoop. A to select, okay? I'm going to grab quick mods because that puts a whole bunch of mods on me with, like, God mode and everything else. All right. Now, if you want to and you want to get it online, you have to go into a session all by yourself like this. All right. You got to go to admin. All right. Whoop. Nope. Sorry. Wrong one. Host only. Force the host. Hit A. Okay. Then back out of that session, go into a public session, and you'll have Jiggy along with the off host too. Okay. Just to let you know. So, anyway, we're going to back out of here now. I'm going to modify some bullets with this thing with A. I'm going to select A. I'm going to grab some swarms. I'm going to grab grenades. I'm going to grab some dog bullets and flare bullets, okay? And I'm going to exit out of there by hitting X and then by hitting X again. Then what I'm going to do, D-pad left to open it. There's our off post right there. A little bit simpler than the AW one, okay? Going to use X to select. We're going to turn all this crap on, okay? Aimbot menu. We're going to do on screen these three. ESP, we're going to turn that on, put pyramids around them, grab hold of this and this, all right? And then we're going to go ahead and then D-pad left to exit out of it, okay? Go through here. When the snap lines turn blue, let them all have it. I'm just getting a little air right here. And uh, pretty much everybody's going to get blown up and destroyed and killed and all that kind of good stuff, okay? And you can even use the, uh, the aimbot on this one with the unfair aimbot. Which completely destroys everybody and everything with automatic headshots through buildings, schools, and everything else. And not to mention a whole bunch of dogs running around like a maniac. Okay? So, you know, don't do this online. Please don't do this. Because that just... That, it's no fun. There's nothing fun about it. Alright? You just sit there and, you know, I mean, you do this stuff. I, I, I like doing crazy stuff with people on there. You know, like making them fly around and take a vacation and all that kind of good stuff, you know? But anyway, that's how that works. Okay? So there you are. Alright? Life is good. Now... We're back, okay? So now, um, you know, once we're done here, all right, now I'm going to show you Sentinel, which is zombies, okay? So we're going to back out of here. We're going to leave that lobby. We're going to back out of here. We're going to go to zombies, okay? We're going to fire up zombies. Zombies uses the Sentinel menu, all right? And what it's going to do, it's going to load up zombies. And then, let's see here, we can do a local game. We'll do a local game real quick, all right, just to show you. All right. Grab all of that. We'll go to transit, original, and we'll start the and we'll start it. All right, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. That'll open the menu. You can use X to select, and you're gonna push in the right thumbstick to back out of it. All right, very simplistic. Uh, it's got a lot of features on it. There's all kinds of crazy stuff on here, just to show you. So here we go. All right, now go ahead. Left trigger, push in on right thumbstick. There we are. X to select. Left trigger, God mode on. Infinite ammo on. Limited sprint. Double speed and no clip. And then we're going to go ahead. We'll toggle the aimbot. Okay. Then we'll go ahead. We'll back out of there by hitting uh, the right thumbstick. And that'll take us back to the uh, to the to the main menu. We'll go down to our weapons menu. We'll grab a good, we'll grab hold of something that's going to work real good, like this right here. This usually works real good. All right. And then uh, we can close the menu out. If we want, let's see here now. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Dang it. I want this. There we go. So anyway, close the menu out. Okay. And uh, pretty much we can blow their faces off. We're in God mode, so it doesn't matter. And we're going to run around the whole place now. As you can see, double speed, you're running around like an idiot. Okay. You can open that up there. You can go to teleport menu right here. Okay. Hit X to select it. You can go to spawn, tunnel, diner, diner roof farm power you know i mean it's got everything that you need um 
You got your personal mods, weapons menu, fun menu, models menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power-ups menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, and, uh, you know, blow people's faces off, all that kind of good stuff. And we're back to personal mods, okay? Close it out, push in right thumbstick, it's gone. Bring it back, hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick, it's back, okay? Very simple. So we'll exit out of this now, go back to Xbox Home, and now we'll hit that, okay? That will take us back. Now, all right, now that's all done and everything. Now I'm going to show you a uh, purge menu on this thing for GTA 5, all right? Just to get your feet wet in this crazy thing. All right, now what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to log out of this. Um, I'm going to log out of this one because there's no game save on that. I don't have a game save on it, okay? And I'm going to sign in with my local profile right here, all right? There we go, because that's got a game save on it, all right? Back out of there, okay? We'll go ahead. We'll go on over to Xbox 360 games. All right, we'll load up Grand Theft Auto Five. All right, now with Purge, you're going to get a notification, all right? And you're going to get a text box. Select D-pad left and X as to open and close the menu, okay? Kind of important, all right? That's if I remember to put it on this thing. <laughs> I might have not. I'm not sure. No, the text box hasn't come up. I'll show you. I'll show it to you on another console. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just, I, I'm, I've been so scattered brain and crazy that I just forgot to do that. I'm sorry about that. You know, just one of those things, okay? But uh, I'll show you on another console, all right? Because I gotta, I gotta authorize this one here. Sorry about that, helmet. I mean, don't worry, you'll have it, man. I promise, okay? <laughs> sorry. Yeah. All right. So anyway, yeah, I'm human too, okay? Just like you, okay? Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll go Xbox 360, NCAA College Football 14, okay? Biggest craze and rave that everybody loves, all right? They love this game. Also, they're coming out with a mod for NCAA Basketball 10, which, yes, is going to be on here too, okay? Just to let you know, all right? And when they come out with the mod, I'm going to load NCAA 10 on there. I'm going to probably load it on the hard drive anyway. Okay, so that way they can got get a little basketball with the with the with the football, the match of football. All right. So anyway, NCAA fo football fourteen. Here we go. All right. Let's start this up here. All right. Oh, I hate that when it does that. <laughs> Try to continue. Let's see what happens here. Probably because I signed out. Who the heck knows? No, that's gonna mess up. Bucks home. Let's see. We'll bring it back. Sorry about that. Happens. All right. I I, I was running too much stuff in memory. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're all good. Just bring it back. No big deal. All right. We'll go over here. We'll fire this up here. There we go. All right. And you'll see NCAA football for, uh, 14 startup. Now listen, visit the college football revamp GitHub, please. Okay. Uh, once you go there, you'll see that there is a bunch of links in there telling you how, what, where, who, why. Okay. Uh, it's college football revamp GitHub. Just Google it. You'll find it. Okay. Also, a good friend of mine, Stu, uh, Stu Douglas, if you need help hashing rosters and all that, he's made a group, all right, and he also helps out with this. So, you know, I mean, when you, you know, I can't hash a roster for a profile I don't have, okay? Once you get your profile, he can hash rosters for you and all that stuff. He's willing to help you guys out, okay, just to let you know. So, you know, if you need help, you could hit him up. Other than that, though, Hit up the uh, hit up the college football revamp GitHub if you want to learn how to do it yourself, which is the best thing to do. All right, don't be dependent on other people. Okay, there, you know, you need to go in there, look at all the links, how to hash it, you know, how to hash your rosters and all that. All right, so that way then you know. Anyway, okay, as you can see, we're at the screen here, play now. All right, as you can see, it all works. It all works just fine, no problems. All right, Dynasty Road to Glory 2020 season ultimate team. Team management settings, college football revamped extras, my NCAA legacy, ultimate team. It's all right there. It, the mod is already loaded. Also, they're going to come out with an update like they do every month. Okay, so stay in touch with that GitHub. They also have a Discord. All right, stay in touch with the GitHub though. All right, very important that you do that because when they come out with the update, you're going to have to copy and paste six files over to this thing or seven if they make the update a little bigger. All right. But anyway, that's gonna that's gonna keep you updated. You'll be able to get it. You'll be able to get at your profile, get online, and play with your friends. Play with the, play the new rosters, the whole nine yards. All right. So now we'll get out of here. All right. Now 
what we're going to do here, all right, is this. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to bring it back here. All right, there we are. Now we're back at Aurora. All right, now, what I'm going to do here, okay, is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time, okay? This is very important that we do this, okay, because if we don't, uh, you're not going to know how to get it online. You're going to wind up messaging me, okay? So I've gone through this before. But I would rather go through it, so that way then you know what you're doing, all right? And it's on it's on this video here, okay? Now listen, when you get this crazy thing, all right, you don't just boot it up and go. It doesn't work that way. You got to get it on your local area network first, okay? So, what we do, before you power it on, all right, what you want to do, the first thing that you want to do is this, okay? Plug it in, get it all ready, get your controller ready and everything. You want to open up the drive door. Then you want to pull the hard drive out, okay? No, I didn't mean to turn it on. Sorry about that. All right, now, pull the hard drive out, okay? Leave that right there. Once you do that, then what you do is, is once you got it all ready and everything, then you power it on. I always hit the eject button for some reason, all right? And now the system's going to boot, okay? When the system boots, what's going to happen is it's going to bring it to the original dashboard, all right? Well, anyway... I short cycled it. Give it a second. There we go. All right. Now, okay. And by the way, this is a Corona 4 gig with windbound memory. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for that helmet. I greatly do appreciate that. With a red ring, no less. Love that, man. You're a great guy. Love you dearly. All right. Anyway, we booted up. We're at the stock dashboard. That's what we want. Okay. What we got to do is we got to go up, we got to go over to settings, and then we have to go to system, okay? You're going to go to network settings. Very important, okay? Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here somewhere. Or if you have a wired connection, that's going to be checkmarked off. One or the other, it doesn't matter. You can both ways she runs, okay? So anyway, you're going to have your wireless connection over here. I want you to click on it, put your password in. To go ahead and get it connected when you do that it's going to automatically test the xbox live connection just like this all right and then you're going to see you're going to get a check mark on two red x's all right and that's what we need okay we want this failed we want this blocked because we don't want to connect directly to the stealth server with no i mean directly to xbox live servers without a stealth server because if you do that you'll ban the kv okay that's the reason why we do this we wanted to get it up on your local area network okay now if you're running regular WP2SK, you know, with a password, you'll be fine, okay? Just make sure that your router has both bands enabled, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Because if you don't have 2.4 gigahertz enabled, this thing is not going to connect. Because this runs on 2.4 gigahertz, okay? Just to let you know, check your router settings, make sure, okay? You'll get a check mark to a red X. That check mark is the important one, okay? Now, what you do, once you get that powered off, okay? Simple. Then what you do is you go ahead, you take your hard drive, all right, we'll slide that in there, just like that. You'll see it with a click. Close the drive door. Pull the power on the Xbox, please, and leave it out for five minutes. If you don't do that, you'll get a DNS error. It's that simple. You won't connect. It'll connect to the server. It won't connect to live. And you'll be sitting there with these errors, and you'll be going like, what's wrong with this thing? Well, if you don't flush the buffers out, well, end result, you know, you don't connect. It's that simple. So leave this out for five minutes, please, okay? Once you're done, then you can plug it back in. And the only reason why I'm plugging it back in is it's already on my network, so the credentials are right. Everything is right for the IP address, so should connect, okay? So anyway, once we're done, after five minutes, plug it in. Me, I just plugged it in. I'm living dangerously. And power the system on, okay? Now, with an insane amount of luck, okay, this thing will boot, all right? Now, once it boots, there we are. Now it's going to boot into Aurora, okay? We're going to get some plugins along the screen here, all right? Very important, okay? And once we get those plugins, that means that we connect it to the server. You'll see the green stuff stop moving, which is good. That means that it connects to the internet. Now, now it's contacting the server, and then it's going to run Aurora. Now, we got our notification that we're connected. Life is good, all right? And now what we can do is the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go over here and I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Now, if you already have your profile, you know, like a retail profile that you, that you don't mind using on this thing, they'll already download the USB stick. All you got to do is just plug it in and, you know, off you go. 
all right however all right that square box if you get that square box you're good she's good to go to live okay if you don't get the square box you didn't leave it unplugged long enough you might have to reset your router and your modem too okay just to let you know but anyway what you're going to do is now if you have a profile already saved on your usb stick you can put it on here i don't recommend putting a retail profile on here i recommend using a modest profile you know just something that you can make up and funny name or whatever and make it up okay see what i'm saying because if you put a retail on here like i said if you do stupid stuff in bo2 you do stupid stuff in advanced warfare you do all kinds of crazy shit. people find out they're going to report you all right if they report you then it's up to xbox to go ahead and follow up on it in which they can and they can ban your profile so just a warning you okay i'm just warning you all right if you want to you can make one on xbox.com slash live on your computer you go there you make the profile use outlook for the credentials use a proper phone number if you don't use a proper phone number uh your credentials are going to be screwed okay so use a proper phone number so in case they want to verify the account in which sometimes they do you can all right think up a silly name think up a silly password make it then what you do is you go to download profile once you download it it's going to give you a white screen it's going to give you a download progress bar if you're sitting there for 15 minutes it means it got screwed in the download what happened was is it got corrupted all right now if that happens i'm gonna show you how to fix that but for all intents and purposes, this is what it'll look like. And once you're done, it will sign in, as you can see. And you will get the live screen here. You will see your character signed in and life is grand. Now, like I said, if you wind up at that download screen for more than for more than even five minutes, okay? For more than five minutes, there's a problem, okay? The download got corrupted. I'm going to show you how to fix it. You hit B to back out of that screen. You come to the original dashboard. You come to this dashboard right here. Go up and go over, go to settings and go to system, okay? Once you go to system, you highlight storage, hit A. Hit A at the hard drive, okay? Then what you do, you go ahead, profiles. Underneath this profile will be the profile that you tried to download that's corrupt, okay? Select it with A. Delete it right off the hard drive. Just get rid of it because it's no good. Then once you delete it, back out of here, back out of here, back out of here, okay? <clears throat> then what I want you to do, this right here, hit Y, clear system cache, do it twice, so that's once, <coughs> excuse me, one more time, you're good, it's clear, okay, back out of here, back out of here, go up, go over, go to social, sign in, sign out, okay, there you are, alright, and then you go ahead, you download the profile again, okay, that's simple. Once you do that, hit the guide button, Xbox Home. <clears throat> All right. Now, there's another program you need to run before you can run off on a tangent and go be, be crazy with this thing, okay? It's called XM360. It's right here, okay? It's also located in your tools. All right. XM360 unlocks everything that's on the hard drive. Get used to it. All right. That is a program that is much needed because when you go to download, Okay, if you go to download content off the website, off of a website or a torrent site or whatever, and it's not unlocked, you can't use it. That's what this thing does right here. Okay, so we start it up by hitting A. It will load it. <clears throat> and now what it'll do is it's going ahead and scanning the entire hard drive, okay, for every bit of DLC, XBLA that's on there. Game saves, the whole nine yards, okay? Now I'm going to show you. I, you're going to have an initial scan here. It takes a little bit. That's why you got a black screen. Give it a second. It'll throw it up there then. And you'll see, you know, everything that, that's on the hard drive just like that. But I want you to hit rescan all just to make sure. Okay? It only takes it a second. So hit A. Rescan all. And as you can see, it's going through every bit of this hard drive. Okay? It found 55, 78, 85. Found all kinds of downloadable content. Your game saves are found. Your title updates are found. XBLA is found. Okay? Everything is good. It's writing the content bin. Okay, now we're good. Now, what we do is we go over here. We go to unlock XBLA. Okay, we hit A. It'll unlock everything, okay? We got we got zero files unlocked because they're already unlocked. Life is good. They're already hashed to the console properly, all right? So we hit A. Go to show DLC. Hit A. <clears throat> all right? As you can see, all of, you know, all your games are right here. 
all the contents right here. So all you got to do is leave it at all up here. Go over, unlock TLC, hit A. Zero files unlocked, they're already unlocked, life is good. Okay? And then just uh, go ahead, exit the dash. All right? Now you're good to go. All right, you're ready to rock and roll. You do anything you want. All right? Now, <clears throat> all right, just to show you like emulators, okay? Now I'm going to show you here how to use the emulators, all right? Here's an emulator right here, okay? We'll use FCE 360, okay? We'll use that. We'll use, we'll use an S emulator. We haven't hit that uh, ever. So we'll start it up, <clears throat> all right? Now it's going to start up, and there's your games right there, okay? We want ball game, 1942, all that stuff. Let's bring up a old classic favorite of ours, okay? Go down page by page by using the right trigger, okay? Uh, let's see here. Eh, there we go, okay? There, Donkey Kong, all right? We'll load it up, hit A, there it is, okay? Now, hitting the back button will make your selections right here, okay? Now, as you can see, all right, when you hit the start button, it will go ahead and it should load the game, okay? Let me bring this back here, yep, and there it goes, all right, and there we are, okay? Use your thumbstick, your left thumbstick to run around, and then, of course, you have the A button, all right? And as you can see, we're all good right there, and everything is right with the world, okay? And it all plays just fine, just like it did back on a, back on a Nintendo system from back in fucking, I forget when, okay? <laughs> all I know is that there was a lot on there. So anyway, we got a uh, little Mario right here. Yeah, I just want to make sure that barrel wasn't coming towards me, all right? So anyway, we got the Mad Monkey, all right? There you go, all right? So there it is, all right? Now, what we can do here... We hit start and pause and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Then we can hit Y. Graphics normal. High quality. Okay. Graphic. You know, I mean, it's got all kinds of uh, settings. Super Touche. Super Eagle. As you can see, the graphics change and all that stuff. You have your load slot and all that. Uh, if you're playing within FSD, you know, it'll change it to FSD, as you can see. So on and so forth. All that kind of good stuff. And, of course, the phone's ringing. Oh, my God. So anyway, you know, and there we are, okay? So we can just go ahead and reload that with Graphics Super or whatever. And then pretty much we just bring it right on back and uh, off you go. So that's how you can play emulators and all that stuff, okay? Once you're done with the emulator, there you go. <laughs> pretty simple, right? That'll bring you back to Aurora, all right? So there's your emulators right there, okay? All of them work the same way, okay? Uh... MAME's got a ton ton of games on there. NES has a ton of games on it, as you can see. You know, I mean, there's a load of stuff on there, all right? Now, classic games, you can't play on this thing without putting it into bypass mode. Bypass mode cuts off the internet, cuts off, actually, the plugins, okay, 2 through 5 in Dash Launch, all right? Uh, which means that the server, you, you have no connection, except you, you do have internet, you have your local area network, okay? Cuts off the live connection and everything else. Okay, the reason being is, is because it doesn't play nice with, with with the server. All right, it's it's a classic it's it's a classic emulator for the Xbox Classic game. So I'm gonna show you how to put it into bypass mode. All right, it's really simple. All right, here we go. Now, when you get this thing, all right, all you gotta do to put it in bypass mode, it's real simple. Power, eject. Leave the tray hanging out, okay, until you reach the dashboard. Aurora will suck it in anyway, okay, so you don't even have to touch the tray, all right? As you can see, this thing boots really, really good, all right? If you short cycle it, you, you probably one to three cycles, but, you know, I mean, if you just if you power it on and just power it off, give it a couple seconds, power, power it back on, she'll boot every time, you know, I mean, perfectly. You won't have any problems. Now, you see the tray got sucked back in, all right, we're good. I'm going to hit the guide button right here, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, all right, and I'm going to go on over to classic games, okay, now we can play a classic game without having a problem, I hope, all right, anyway, we'll go ahead, we'll get Tony Hawk Underground right here, all right, there we are, there's a logo, it blinked twice, it's going to load, it's not going to give us any problems, okay, you'll see, there we are, and there it is, like it was on an original Xbox from back in 2005, all right, it all plays fine, you know, I mean, and real simple, and there you are, okay? 
when you're done with this, you hit the guide button and go back home. Now, mind you, I'm going to warn you with a roar. For some reason, on exit, it'll fatal crash. It ain't going to hurt anything, okay? It just means that it reset everything on the Xbox. No big deal. It's fine. But it does it sometimes. Now, on, on some games, it doesn't. On this one, it does. So, just warning you, okay? So, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the guide button. And there it is, okay? You know, right on cue. And there you go. The only thing it's going to do is reload Aurora, and then you can play another classic game. It's not going to hurt anything, okay? Something is calling something in memory that it doesn't like, all right? So it's a PPC computer. It's very, very literal, okay? So anyway, that's how you play classic games, all right? Now, copying files and folders over, you can use a USB stick, and you can use the file manager, okay? It's very simple, all right? You got your left window. You got your right window. So there's your right window, and there's your left window. All right, pretty simple. All right, uh, if you want to copy a file over, it's very easy. You can grab a USB stick, shove it in here. All right, you'll see that USB stick, USB stick is inserted. Yes, okay. Now, we can use the right window, and we can choose USB. All right, and then you have your left window, okay. We use HDD1, all right. It works for KVs and all that kind of good stuff. Let's say you want to put a menu on it, okay. There you go. All right, let's say... Uh, Let's say this is the name of the menu right here, okay? All right. All you got to do is you just go ahead, you highlight it, all right? Bring this over here. You're going to go ahead. Well, you're going to highlight it. You're going to hit X to select. Bring it over here. Copy. And then you're going to hit LB, okay? And then it's going to go ahead, bring it over, and just hit Paste. Yes, it will ask you, and then it will put it there. There it is. To delete it, X. And there we are. And we're good, and it's gone, all right? That's how it works, okay? Pretty simple, all right? Very simple, in fact. Okay, that's how you can copy files and folders over with a USB stick, KV.bin, and all that stuff, all right? Now, all right, we'll pull the stick out, okay? Hit B and back out of there. Notice our IP address, 192.168.1.24. All right, we can use FTP. All right, FTP is a file transfer protocol and for windows it's known as win scp all right now i already got it loaded on my computer just google it and download it okay now i want you to be able to see this damn thing all right that way then you can see it okay all right that's about as good as it's going to get all right now look bring this down here after you download uh you know win scp for windows click on it open it up all right there it is now we're going to choose ftp we're going to go ahead 192.168.1.24. All right. No encryption. Port 21. Leave that alone. Type in Xbox FTP. Tab over to the password. Xbox FTP. Really simple. Log in. All right. Reading directory. There you are. HDD1. There it is. Simply copying a file in a folder is, is stupidly easy. Just grab hold of it. Bring it over here. Drop it in. There it is, and there it is. Delete it, no big deal, and we're done, and it's gone, okay? That's FTP. If you want to use, um, if you want to use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, all right? Well, you download the SDK, all right, which is readily available. Just YouTube it or Google it or whatever, and just type in Xbox 360 SDK, latest, uh, latest version, download, and you'll see a whole bunch of them pop up, okay? When you get it, install it on your Windows computer, your Xbox 360 neighbor, you have this green blob right here, okay? Click on it. It'll open up. There you go. Now, this is one we're going to delete because it's not here no longer, all right? We're going to add it. We're going to add one to the neighborhood, okay? So, we'll double-click on that. Next, type in the IP address. If not, you can type in JTAG if it's the only one on the network and it'll find it, okay? I'm going to use the IP address, 168.1.24. All right, next, okay? Now, do I want to make it my default? I don't, but you do, okay? So you hit yes, I'm going to hit no. That's if you want to. Next, finish, done. There it is. Right-click, open, explore, reboot, screen capture, so on and so forth, all that crap there. To open it up if you want, just double-click on it. And now, mind you, it does take a little bit of time. Unfortunately, that's the way that this program does work. It works through TCP IP. It's nothing more than ex Windows Explorer with TCP IP enabled, okay? So anyway, all right, good. We're good. We're going to go to volume HDD1. 
double click on that that will open up HCD one all right now <clears throat> we want to copy a file or folder over okay so we open up another instance of Explorer yeah I know it takes time just give it a second there it is okay it's getting there just give it a second it'll be fine I promise <sighs> come on I love this you can do it there you go okay your files your folders all that crap okay now copy a file over just right click on on Explorer right here and open up another instance of file Explorer pretty easy okay we'll bring it over here and let's say uh, let's say our folder is named desktop okay we can grab whatever we want we got a file folder whatever just uh, left click left click drag it drop it easy and there it is to delete it right click and it'll open up a dialog. Delete. Ask for confirmation. And you're done. Yes. There you are. Done. Piece of cake. And it'll go away. See? So, very simple. All right. Very, very simple programs. Very simple protocol. Okay? You shouldn't have any kind of problems with this thing. All right? At all. Okay? Uh, except when it does that. That's when it just like, yep, and it reset my windows. What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely Microsoft and their wisdom and their MIT uh, engineers. Yeah, H.O. or Lionel. Okay, but anyway, uh, as you can see, very simplistic. Okay, there you go. Helmet, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay, I'm glad that I was able to fix this thing. Okay, you know, I mean, I'm glad I found it, it was just an e brick, thank God. And I just had a reflow. You know, no big deal. Yes. Kester, no clean flux. Works great. Gotta try it. Works real good. Liquid. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I heat that sucker up to about 768 degrees. It worked real good, I promise. But anyway, as you can see, all throughout this, and like I said, I've been running this console because I, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to give me a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I've been running this console. I, I mean, last night I had it on all last night to this morning, okay? And it's just like, it's been a trooper, so I know it's going to be okay. All right, so anyway, there you go, brother. Thank you so much for your business, okay? Now... All right, now that we did that, we did helmets. Now, I'm going to show you the other three that are going out. All right, what do we have here? We have Mr. Kylan, uh, Kylan Dillon, okay? Now, Kylan, he went ahead, he wanted remote RGBs in this damn thing, okay? So, we'll go ahead, we got him remote RGBs in it, okay? Now, this one here, let's go ahead, we're going to boot it up, okay? We have our little remote. Let's hope it starts up. There you are. All different kinds of colors. Red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, purple. Okay. And then, of course, you got auto. And it does all kinds of modes, by the way, also, too. Okay. All kinds of modes. Any, anything you want. It does all kinds of crazy shit on this thing. So, you know, as you can see, it does all. It's nutty. Okay. So, you got a full function remote on this thing with 300 modes. Okay. So. Now, we're booting up. Do this here. I'm going to hit auto. That way, then it's all bright and shiny. It's going to boot up into uh, into Aurora. There we are. As you can see, welcome to Alliance. Life is good. All right, and we're all good. All right. Notice the purge notification. <laughs> Which didn't happen on Helmet's console because I forgot to enable the damn thing. So anyway, you got the same stuff, man. All right. Um, let me see here. Let me sync the controller up. That would be a good idea. Let's know which one is which here. Okay. I'm going to start. You got your file manager, of course, you know, and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Uh, hard drive size is, uh, let's see here. Yep. You got it. You got a 250 gig drive in this thing. All right. So on and so forth. All right. We're at show all. Your Xbox 360 games. And yes, it's got the NCAA football. Xbox Live Arcade, your homebrew section, your classic games, indie games, emulators, back to show off, okay? So you got a ton of stuff on there. There you go, all right? Now, go on ahead, go to Xbox 360 games, go to the dashboard, make sure everything's cool. We're good. We'll boot up. Welcome to Alliance. You're all good. Got it. Good. And as you can see, it's up, it's online, and it's live, okay? So we're good to go. So, Kylan, listen, 
Thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay? Yeah, this thing's going nuts here. Okay? <laughs> All right? Well, listen, though. Thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. As you can see, it's up. It's ready. It's good. It boots. Life is grand. Okay? I'm going to get it shipped out to you. All right? So now I'm going to shut this one down. All right? <clears throat> now we'll go ahead. And what I'm going to do here is so I don't mix these up because I've got quite a few more. Okay, I got to do. Okay? Carl Hankton. All right, Carl. Carl went ahead, and he bought also an RGH from us. We'll fire this up. Plug this all in. Turn it on. I'm gonna sync a controller. Hold on here. Sync that up there. There we go. All right. Now bring that over there. Boots just as good as the other ones. They all boot the same way. They'll boot within one to three cycles. I will not let someone sit at a friggin' Blank screen for 20 seconds or 30 seconds. That, that's a horrible boot time, okay? 10 seconds is a horrible boot time. I don't like it, all right? I like them when they boot like this because that's the way they need to. And anybody that says any different is an idiot and doesn't know how to use a timing file, okay? Because there's plenty of them out there. They just don't want to take the time to time the damn thing right, okay? They want to sit there loading timing files left and right. But that's what you got to do. If you don't do that, well, then what are you doing? Why are you doing this, okay? Except to, like... Rip as much money as you can and see you later. Bye. All right. So anyway, as you can see, show all. Take a look at the hard drive here. See what size this is. Yep, this is another 250 right here. All right. So as you can see, we're at show all. All your Xbox 360 games, of course. Same compliment. Yeah, including that. Then, of course, you got Xbox Live Arcade. Homebrew section. Classics. Indie. Emulators, show all, back here, make sure she's online and running, <clears throat> yep, there we are, got it, good, bypass, boom, up on live, life is good, good KV, alright, so, like I said, Carl, thank you for your business, man, again, greatly do appreciate it, alright, have fun with it, enjoy it. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Please, okay? Now, we're done with this one. And now, finally, we have this one here, which is Mr. Christian Rice. If you remember, Christian ordered two Star Wars consoles, and the one that came in, well, the vent was broken on it. I was not happy with that, okay? Pissed me off, so I got him another one. I got him one that's mint, okay? And I went ahead, and what did I get him to? Just for being a nice guy, that Christian is. I got him a matching controller for it as well, all right? So pretty much you have a matching Star Wars setup right here, all right? So you're all good to go. I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in. If I can find a damn HDMI slot, there we go, all right? Now, we'll power it on. And yes, it is a real Star Wars console, okay? It has the motherboard with the freaking freaking crazy freaking insanity sounds from hell all right i will sync this controller up right here okay here we go there we are okay system booted this has got a one terabyte drive in it now this thing is like crazy loaded okay you have a lot of fun with this thing all right it's got a ton of games on it and everything uh and um you know like i said it's just like the other one that you ordered man same thing, except you got a matching controller because you're special. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> I understand that you're a special person. I'm kidding, man. Anyway, okay, as you can see, we're in show all. Okay, now on this one here, you've got a ton of games on here. I mean, literally, a freaking ton of games. All right? I mean, it goes on and on. you got Grand Theft Series, Cam Lynch, Football... Shooting games, basketball games, NBA Jam, NCAA Cup Football 10, 12, 13, 14, NHL Hockey, PGR. You got a ton of shit on here, man. If you run out of things to do, I mean, Super Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I mean, completely, you know, not, no doubles of nothing, okay? And like I said, you know, wrestling, you like wrestling, you like guys with big tits running around or whatever, well, there you go, okay? You know, I mean, it's, it's done, okay? Have fun with it, all right? Back out of here. 
We'll hit our we'll hit our B, bring it over. And yeah, you got a shitload of freaking XBLA. A ton of XBLA on this thing, okay? Including one of my favorites, Goat Simulator. Alright? I have no idea really. Alright, homebrew section, your tools as usual. Your classic games, you got a ton of freaking classic games on here as well. Alright? As much as I can fit. Like I said, the bigger the hard drive, the more crap I can fit on there. Okay, and then you got your indie games, and you got a bunch of developer games on here. Your emulators, you got a bunch of emulators on there too. And we're back to show all. Alright? So, you got a ton of crap on here, man. Alright? You should be good to go. Go to the dashboard. Make sure she's up and online. There you are. Chris Rice, you're on Alliance Live. Life is good. You'll have 30 days on this thing. I promise you, okay? Anyway, and there you are. You're up, you're online, you're live, okay? Bring this back. Go back home. Listen, thank you again, Christian, for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, man. I appreciate your patience. Sorry about the snafu with the other console, but I wasn't about to send out a broken console. Okay, when somebody orders a console from me, I don't care regardless if it costs me out of my freaking wallet. When it came in and I saw the vent was broken on it, I was like, nope, not doing it. Okay, and I got it. Believe it or not, I got that fucker right there, as you can see. Okay, because I'm pissed about it, all right? You know, I mean, but it is what it is. You're not getting something broken from me. All right, end of story. So, I hope that you like it. It's, re it's, a, it's in perfect shape. Yes, it ejects real nice. It even makes a freaking noise. See? Just like that, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I hope you like it, brother. All right? Thank you again for your business. And like I said, showing a little appreciation to you. There's your matching controller right there. All right? Anyway, guys, listen. Thanks for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. I hope that you all have a good one. And, uh, oh, goody. Look, people. <laughs> See ya. Um, anyway, I hope that you all have a good one. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you guys that are on Alliance, you're looking forward to the AW challenges. Be, uh, well, the a AW challenges, oh my God. No, the AW friggin' off host, okay? I want you to enjoy it. Have a good time with it. And I'm going to holler at you all later, okay? I got a bunch more to build. Talk to you all later, guys. Have a good day.